<laughs> well, Mrs. King and myself have been busy doing some DIY. We've taken the radiator off and uh, we want to rejuvenate it, uh, give it a bit, of, bit better life. So the new colour scheme doesn't really match this. So there's a few items of household goods that we're going to change. And so I'm going to try it on there first. But basically all we do is take whatever we want to change the colour, if it doesn't match. Uh, we get uh, the base coat on. The shadow is just not doing us justice there. And uh, also she wants this clock doing, which was chrome with black um, design on it. So I've put the first coat on there and you can see that's gone on uh, quite well. I'm going to put another coat on and uh, if that works and it sticks I'll do this one. So basically we put um, a base coat on first and then uh, we select a fleck. It's like lots of little different coloured uh, speckles. It does give a, a, a great effect and make something that looks like that into something totally different. Lots and lots of thin layers. Don't be uh, rushed and uh, all I do is uh, turn that really slowly and hope it doesn't fall down. So when you have the desired finish or what you think is then uh, just make sure you turn the can upside down, clear the nozzle, just a simple tip. Right, we'll get the first layer of the uh, flat coat on. That's layer one and it'll probably get enough to whatever you feel you actually need. Don't go mad, little bits at a time, else it will merge into each other. Just make sure you uh, shake the can thoroughly every time. Uh, Mrs King's holding the camera and making sure we don't put too much on, and I think we're nearly there. So we'll just go over to the uh, other one. short little burst with a fleck. Okay, switch it off. So uh, Mrs King is happy with what we've got now and uh, now it's time for the uh, clear coat. You don't have to do this but of course they want to sell you a product that seals it up. So we'll put a few coats of that on because we've got it and we'll show you the final results once they're dried. So, for very, very little effort, you can change something for little cost because basically we're doing other jobs at the same time. And I've now got the yellow for the um, stalk's beak. That's how it should look. And this is the one that I painted earlier. It didn't have a, a yellow beak, so I wasn't sure. So it's, it's black. Black beak's got to come up towards his eye, the line, and the yellow. And we use the, this paint for getting this uh, back to a, a reasonable colour again, because they do go rusty. So those three tints of paint will last us absolutely ages. And earlier on you saw Mrs K using uh, a sample pot of uh, this material to give Mr Pumpkin uh, its first coat and these have had uh, coats before. It just brightens it, brightens everything up. As you know we've got a lot of this lime green in the garden now. So some spare hearts that uh, she'd collected. We've now just tinged some of them with uh, the yellow paint. So 
it just helps make look everything look fresh. You know when you make a real good job of something and then oh you've done such a lovely job darling can you just paint the uh, rim around there so it's a new clock but with a white wall if we have the colour of what we've just done with the fleck it'll enhance the clock. One job leads, leads to another. <laughs> this clock didn't have any numbers on it previously you just have to take a bit of a guess like I've done now putting the hands back on but when you set the hands when you put them back on always put them to uh, the o'clock both hands pointing uh, north and hopefully they'll uh, they'll run right yeah spot on so now we've tried everything without ruining something else we're going to get that effect on uh, the radiator and uh, when I do a garden tour and a little bit more DIY I'll show you what it look like, looks like actually on uh, on the wall getting these things sorted now the floor's got to be done first but I will be doing a few more DIY videos in the future are you going to talk or do you go camera shy every time <laughs> Are you oh no he does move. Come on. You gonna say hello? Go on. Oh, thanks for watching my friends. Uh, all my DIY videos will have DIY at the start, so anybody following my uh, gardening allotment channel on a budget, uh, then you don't uh, have to watch these. Take care my friends, till next time, to Rafa now.